Hi. Video number three. Shot on Friday, February the 11th. Only one day late. You see this and it shows up in your, your video. I apologize. I had a biopsy. Still waiting for results. Don't have it, but I want to come through and share with what, what I have done so far on my audiobook project. Um, I was thinking I'd get through the alphabet pretty quickly. I'm not going to get through the alphabet as fast as I thought uh, because I don't listen to audiobooks very long or I just started so I'm not kind of into it. I'm sitting here looking for the audiobook and if I told you where it was you would sit here and laugh at me so I'm going to give you a good laugh. My audiobook case is sitting under my computer because my computer when it's sitting on the bed gets very very hot so I'm sorry for having to move you but I gotta have this. And I may have to stop and interrupt you. But anyway, remember I was reading this book, uh, Bones of the Lost. It is a Kathy Wright book. And I had given you some information about it. And come to find out, the information I gave you was actually for Patricia Cornwell. So scratch all that information if you're following this. I had decided that I was going to listen to this. And I am. And I am working on it. Uh, I do find that. The project that I'm working on is not the only thing that I listen to this book to. It's whenever I give the television set over to the Kieran kids, I will start working on whatever's in front of me. And if it happens to be that project, great. If it's not, it takes so long to get through an audio book anyway. I don't have a problem with that. The project I'm working on is a big project, so it would take me a couple of audio books anyway to read it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you probably I may do it once a week I may do it every two weeks but I will tell you when I start come back and show you where I have gotten done on that project come back and probably show you again what I've gotten done on that project and then when I finish the book hopefully during a month I can get through a book but I'm going to do 26 books because I'm going to do a book for every letter of the alphabet Q may be a little little uh, hairy. X may be a little hairy. We'll work on it. But anyway, uh, we'll we're, we're come up with something. I'll come up with something. I, and I'm going to tell you, I am not opposed to going back and looking at the YA section if I have to, which is young adult. And I may even pick up a kid's book. So it depends on the mood or the letter I'm looking for and what I can find. So what I had done before... And I'm actually getting my books from the library, from Henrico County Library. You can see it right there. And I have no problem with that. And I went to librarians and I explained to them what I was doing. And they said, well, that sounds pretty cool. So they were, and I said, I'm going, I should have gone by the author's names. It would be easier. But I decided that I wanted to go by the name of the book. And I've come to the conclusion that I need to just pick up books. And don't worry about where they are in this series and just listen to the book. This book, um, I'm not usually a murder person, I'm a murder mystery type person, but I do like the series Bones a lot and I find it very fascinating. So I was okay with reading this, but the characters are definitely different than the Bones show, so keep that in mind. I am enjoying this book and I do look forward to it. Now, one thing I do know that I do like, I do like suspense. And I do like horror, and this is suspense and thriller. So, this works for me. Um, I am in, I am definitely enjoying it. So, I'm hoping that, you know, when I get done my book, I get done my book, and I'll be able to give it a review. I am, I think I'm in CD5. I am on CD5, and it has nine discs. So, I am halfway through it. So, I am doing good. My progress on my project is not as great because, like I said, I am listening to other things when I'm doing it. And this is basically my Sunday project when I'm done Jada and Stitches. Which I'm not done right now. But I went and started this. This is a Happy Happy Crafter Homemaker by Carrie Penny project. I did one of these and I liked it. And I did it in the same type of yarn. So I'd never do it in that same yarn. Guess what? I'm doing it in the same color, the same kind of yarn. I'm using a Medela cake. It is right here. It is pixie, and I have three balls of this yarn, so I know this only takes... The one I did took two. I probably will use all three in this because um, Carrie Penny had, had shared that one of the people who is on, who follows her, which is uh, Little Bits of Yarn, Penny Appleyard, she took the pattern that Carrie created 
and she put armholes in it. Like the one Carrie has, it's just complete. It wraps, it, you know, it goes around you. <clears throat> doesn't have armholes in it. It's a shawl. What Carrie Penny did was, or not, Carrie, not Carrie Penny. What Penny did was she cre did the actual pattern, but in some of these splits, she actually opened it up so that you could actually put your armholes, have armholes in it. And I'm like, oh, that's kind of neat. So the first one I did, I made eight. This one I'm making nine panels. So it has nine little panels going all the way around. And Carrie Penny actually tells you this is such a simple pattern. You can make it as big as you need to to fit you. So it's, she says, but start small and work your way up. And I think that's a great, great thought process. Um, I surprisingly enough got this just because it was on sale. They had three balls of it, two with bands, one without. I figured, well, you know, I'll go ahead and get it. And the color so far, I'm not, you know, this is okay, but I like that color a lot. And I like so far, I was only too shy of finishing this stitch over here with that, all that being one color. And I like it so far. And I'm hoping my other one, I let the colors fall where they may. I may control a little bit more of the color here just because I like the symmetry of it. And since I am going to have to turn around and stop it and kind of come back and do different things so I have my armholes, I may turn around and actually control the colors. And since I have three balls and I can play with it and I can use the other, the um, scraps for Charlie's Love, I can turn around and do that. So that's probably what I'm going to do with this. I am liking it. I love this. This shawl was absolutely beautiful. I did get comments of how pretty it was. So I'm going to play around with it. So I'm going to be a little bit more cautious about how I go through it. So it may take me two or three book, uh, audio books to finish it. But you know what? I'm okay with that. So until next time, like I said, I'm reading Bones of the Lost. I'm on my letter B. Please, if you want to join, please do. I look forward to it. I get my books from the libraries. They have free books that you can rent out for a certain time. And I just like doing it. So thanks for the comment. And I hope to see you soon. Thanks.